um, uh, well, the first question uh, on how we can measure the uh, performance of environmental education. Actually, I just uh, present the result. We just uh, had a press release, a press conference yesterday to announce the result of one of our uh, sponsored project on uh, the literacy, uh, the environmental literacy measurement results. So uh, that's about one and a half years ago. Uh, in the meeting, uh, some uh, committee members said that we should uh, develop some tools for uh, measure the performance of uh, environmental education act. So that's the first. That's the first time we have done this survey. So according to this, we will do that maybe every four or five years, so that we can understand uh, how. Uh, overall, uh, how environmental literacy of the general public in Taiwan change because of uh, uh, because of the Environmental um, Education Act. So uh, we just uh, uh, build up the baseline, the baseline of data. So uh, I, I just mentioned that uh, according to the results this time, we found that uh, we need, we have uh, something that uh, we should uh, emphasize. For example, that we should emphasize more on um, social uh, environmental uh, education. Uh, in the past, uh, people uh, maybe uh, emphasize more about school education, but uh, now we, we find that we should emphasize more about social education. Uh, and I also mentioned that we should have our uh, strategies to do that. Education uh, is something that we need uh, to set up some goals and we should find uh, the strategies to fulfill the goals. So um, we need to have more uh, professional people get involved. And also we need to uh, have uh, some uh, certificate places, uh, institutes uh, to work with us. And also we need to develop some uh, effective, uh, useful teaching materials. Uh, so that's uh, why I mentioned that we have uh, five key elements for environmental education. The first is passion, and the second is content. Uh, in terms of content, uh, for example, uh, the sustainable consumption or sustainable uh, production, the sum of the content. Uh, for content, everything, uh, everything is about the environment. So uh, for everyone uh, with the different professions, uh, who can everyone can find uh, what he or she can do in terms of environment education. So for uh, economists. Uh, for engineers, uh, for uh, even artists, they can find uh, something that they can do. So uh, we now we work with other uh, government departments, other some other ministries to work together. Uh, for example, we uh, work uh, we work together uh, with uh, the Ministry of Culture uh, to develop some um, cross uh, cultural uh, teaching materials. And uh, we work with uh, our Ministry of uh, Laws and, uh, to, uh, to develop some uh, teaching materials for uh, environmental human rights. So uh, we make uh, more people understand uh, everything is about environmental education. Uh, for uh, sustainable uh, consumption, uh, I think that the, the, the movement is already happening in Taiwan. Uh, for example, like organic vegetable, organic food, that's a minority market, but it is growing. Uh, I think uh, education is a good um, approach to promote this kind of uh, market so that more people will uh, think twice or maybe third times uh, when he or she uh, want to pay for cheaper product but with uh, more environmental uh, damages. So uh, I, think, uh, I think the trend is already there in Taiwan, but uh, it is growing very slowly. Uh, if we can do something, uh, maybe uh, the trend will, will be more significant. Um, and uh, I, in conclusion, I will say that um, uh, in these years, we emphasize uh, many things about environmental education because in the past, uh, we uh, in Chinese, uh, I would say that in Chinese, we was not say 环境教育, 
environmental protection. Many people just uh, say "环保教育." That's environmental protection education. This is not environmental education. It's only part of environmental education because "环保教育" environmental protection education means to teach people how to do environmental protection. That's just very uh, minor, very minor part of the whole of the whole thing. So now we emphasize many things. Uh, for example, for climate change, uh, we are not promoting climate change education um, to uh, emphasize everything about the climate education. Uh, in terms of um, uh, academic disciplines, uh, we uh, emphasize both the natural and uh, uh, social aspects, uh, even some um, other uh, human aspects, uh, and also we emphasize we need to uh, have our citizens have uh, some attitude towards climate change. And also, we, we, told, we told them or educated them how to take action to react to combat climate change. We, we not just emphasize to understand the scientific facts about that. So now we have a different kind of uh, and the flexible strategies trying to do this. So uh, that's the reason why I say that uh, environmental education plays a very critical role for us to build a sustainable society.